Hey folks, dude here, coming at you on of all things, Thursday, 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 February 18th, and, um, well, I have some really exceedingly badass tech news. This is one of those kind of cool things coming out of, like, the feed on Facebook that you want to see. Not like, you know, dog bites man, man bites dog, both of them go running down a hill, you know, then all of a sudden they jump on something, both burst into flame, which is then put out by some superhero, you know, the usual fluff stupidity that you find on Facebook. Once in a while, has a pearl of something cool. Now, what I'm going to tell you about today, guys, is I'm going to tell you about, of all things, Cat's S60 phone. Now, you're going cat. Cat, cat phone? Yes, cat like Caterpillar. Like, you know, the guys that make, like, the big earth moving equipment. They license a group of guys called the Bullet Group. And I do mean Bullet like the Steve McQueen movie. B-U-L-L-I-T-T. -L -L -T. Bullet Group Limited. Uh... Basically, they license a whole bunch of stuff from Caterpillar uh, for using mobile devices and accessories, Kodak, and uh, Ted Baker, Ministry of Sound, you know, headphones, speakers. You know, they're located in 75 countries. They're in China, UK, USA. You know, they're pretty much everywhere, okay? They are kind of one of these kind of sneak up on you kind of companies that's besides like, you know, LG, Samsung, Apple, you know, all these other companies. They are doing some kind of cool stuff. Now... Of all things they got, and this is actually one of those really cool things, they have a phone now referred to as the S60. I'm going to include a picture here. Okay, we're back. Now, looking at that picture, you looked at it, and it kind of looked kind of unusual. It had like a hump on top, and it had two little gold switches. I'm going to flash to you again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It has two little gold switches on it. Here's the picture again. Okay, now when you're getting this thing and you're looking at this thing, the image that you were looking at, you're going, yeah, that's kind of really strange color gradient. Why is it doing that? Well, first and foremost, those two little switches, if you flick them up, you go from a 2 meter depth rating to a 5 meter rating. So in other words, you can take this thing down 20 some odd feet to 30 feet almost. I mean, it, it's almost 40 ish feet. That's like 30 some odd feet. I'll put the numbers down there. You know, guys, I always put that out of stations. So, essentially, what it is, is this phone is actually actively waterproofed to that five meter depth for about a half an hour. Otherwise, with those two switches in normal position, it is two meters depth. Now, if you think about it, that's cool, man. If you're just walking around, you're going, okay, I'm in kind of a sketchy place. You know, I want to make sure nothing happens. You flick those two things over. It still works. It's just not quite as actively loud. And you have to probably speak a little louder because you're putting two little doors over like the earpiece and the microphone. So if you're using this thing and you accidentally drop it in like, you know, a puddle or it falls into a fountain or something, you go, ah, crap, that's annoying. Hang on a second. Reach in, pick it up, shake it off, you know, make sure it's as dry as you can get it. Continue with your phone call. Now the hump on the top there's a reason why this thing is so cool. This is the very, very, very first smartphone that has a thermal camera built into it. That's right, folks. You can see thermal images by the differentiating, differentiating temperatures between objects and the backgrounding and like certain hot spots on it. So literally, if you were using this thing in cold weather, you could walk outside, turn it on, and look at your house and go... Oh, that window's leaking. That window's leaking. Yeah, that door needs to get worked on. You can see every place on your house that is leaking heat, letting in cold, or letting out heat during the summertime. Now, the cool thing is, it has this technology on board. It doesn't need to have to be, like, something added on. The other cool thing is, this is me running through the specs here. It has... Uh, da, 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 da. Let me go through the specs. Let me go through the specs. It is running Android Marshmallow. So, like, one of the very latest versions of Android. That's kick-ass, man. It runs on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 617 processor, which includes LTE support. It's got 3 gigs of RAM. It's got 32 gigs of expandable storage. And it comes with a 13-megapixel rear camera, a 5-megapixel front camera. And if you lock down, like I said, there's two switches... It can be taken to a depth of 5 meters, otherwise the waterproofing is limited to 2 meters. Uh, but the thing is, the battery on board is 3,800 milliampers, which is pretty good. The only downside to anything I've seen about this thing is they're saying it is only a degree of resolution on the main screen of 720p. 
So it's not full HD or, you know, the Oleo or OLED or whatever those stupid things are called. When I have, like, the ridiculous picture quality, it's going to be a step back from that. Now, also, the uh, the front end on this thing, it's got Gorilla Glass. It's got Gorilla Glass 4 protection. And it's ramped up for this particular phone. It's a millimeter thick, which is more than double of your standard front glass. The surrounding frame is made out of aluminum. The rear is made out of plastic composite. And it looks like carbon fiber. They said to drop test this thing from 1.8 meters 26 times in the concrete. To make sure every face and corner can withstand crashing against concrete without injuries to the internals. It is way ridiculously strong. It stands up to all this crap. The only downside is the price of entry. Cha-ching. Goes on sale at the end of May this year. It is going to be $599. But, 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 but... That's kind of a high price to pay because you can get the thermal imaging dongle for iPhone, which is two forty nine. dollars Yeah, you consider an iPhone's not exactly cheap, okay? But if you integrate that into this really kick-ass, strong phone, you might be ahead of the game. Also, the other thing, too, is if you're just not a huge fan of Apple, and I'm really not. I really, truly am not. There's another picture I can show you guys, and it shows a front and rear view of this thing. So you can kind of see, I'm talking about that little hump. Uh, I guess what it is, they needed more room for the camera to be, like, you know, a thermal imaging unit, or it is two cameras. I don't know how exactly how that works. I haven't seen this thing close up in personal. I'm simply just reading some of the outsets from this article I'm finding for you guys on TheVerge.com. So here's the picture where you're seeing front and rear view. Here you go, man. So, for all intents and purposes, it has a step back, okay? The screen isn't quite as good, but it has a step forward if you think about it. I can watch stuff in 720p, and I'm not going to cry. Because you're talking a phone screen, okay? You're not talking like you're looking at like some grandiose picture in a movie theater, and it's like grainy as all get out. It's going to be adequate for your purposes on a smartphone, okay? You're not talking about something where you're watching, like, movies, or if you are watching movies on a smartphone, you're kind of a little silly, because most times, here's the dirty little secret, most time you make a movie, by the time the movie goes to video and you're looking at the video, you are seeing all the little stupid cheats, all the CGI, all the add-ins, and all the little fluff they added in that looks great on a movie screen, maybe not so much when you're looking at it through HD on uh, 3D or like, you know, the, the surround 3D and all other cra IMAX, whatever that thing is, you know, the, the IMAX surround, it doesn't quite look exactly as perfect as it could because the CGI is not that high a resolution. Well, 720 probably won't show those as badly as like watching. I mean, I can watch a movie on a movie theater and I can watch it at home and I will see the huge disparity of not being able to see it because the resolution is a lot lower on a movie screen versus a TV screen. I, I got a pretty decent TV at home, but I can see the difference between those two. I'm thinking, though, from its outset, though, taking a step back with the picture quality is not going to be that big a step. The thing about it is, though, is having that thermal camera on board, that is a cool, cool, cool toy to have on board and be able to play with. This phone is pretty much, pretty much really seriously kick-ass. The only downside is, is it's so expensive from its outset, but for an Android phone, I'm thinking for you guys, if you want to get something really, really cool, and you don't want to take the $250 hit like what you're going to have to do with Apple phones, this is going to be a great unit. And if you guys want to see it, look for the CAT, so C-A, okay, C-A-T-S-6-0, F-L-I-R thermal camera. That's it, man. And of course, the link's going to be from the Verge article, so you guys can read it at your leisure and the rest of the good stuff like that there. But this phone is completely badass, man. I saw this thing. I just had to say, this is my video for today. I'm talking about a camera. With, I'm talking about a camera with built-in thermal imaging, man, because that is just badass. And that stuff coming down the pike, and that is cool tech to have in your pocket. I'm going to break up with this one, folks. Eat good, keep centering. As always, always, you know it, you love it. You can actually walk around your car and see which brake is running hotter than the other brakes. Cool stuff. That's what they do in uh, Indy. They use those for tuning. Good times. See you guys. Edison.